Hey guys, wanted to take you along this week, show you a few things that we're doing, keep you guys in the loop of what coin dealers do on a weekly basis. Just got a CAC submission home, and I wanted to show you what what came back in a few uh, kind of moments here. So when people are saying, uh, you know, CAC is going up and, you know, CAC prices are reaching a new high and uh, it's hard to find CAC, well, look at this submission that just came back. Can you tell me? You tell me. All right, so I'm gonna start laying these out here. This is this is not something we haven't submitted. We did actually did, did submit. We got this back. Oh, there's one. Oh. So we submitted, I think, 18, 19 coins. They just keep going. They just keep going. And one of them cacked. So, you know, I expected more than one to cack, but uh, I guess only one cacked. So, definitely uh, interesting. It's the reason why I've been hunting cack coins for you guys. So, uh, yeah, just uh, head scratcher here. Just woke up, but let's take you on to some more adventures that we have today. All right, guys, so just a little bit of a development. So I showed you guys some stuff earlier that didn't pass a CAC, but I wanted to also show you a, a coin that we've been holding on to for a while, finally sold. Uh, this AE1S Morgan, 62 CAC. Uh, we found this, if you guys didn't know, I haven't watched the channel for a while. Found it like two years ago at a show, and someone finally reached out today and said, hey, I want to buy it. We didn't keep it on the website. We just wanted to keep it fresh and just bring it to shows and maybe run into a collector one day. But I'm going to show you the B-roll of that right now. And uh, yeah, just a phenomenal coin. Christmas colors on the front and back. Uh, the luster's awesome, like 81S has come. Uh, it's a phenomenal coin, sad to see it go. Got other stuff right here that we're posting. So you wanna come up here and show them. We got just a bunch of rounds that we're, we have on consignment or a post on our eBay. So it's just easier for you guys to pick it up over there. If you guys are interested in some rounds, a lot of these are just have to do with Marvel or, uh, you know, Star Wars stuff. Just a few kind of things here and there. Got, a, yeah, some decent stuff for sure. Nothing too crazy. Just trying to help a collector out, move some silver and put it into something else. So, all right, guys, it's now lunchtime here. I wanted to show you three new purchases that we just got from, uh, you know, picking them up at the PO box. But first, let's show you this lunch that I'm having today, which most people would say is disgusting, but it's helped me lose weight, helped me gain muscle. So, got four cans of tuna here, and we also have a large bowl of chicken noodle soup from Chick-fil-A. All in all, I think it's 110 uh, grams of protein and 720 calories, and so, you know, fill you up, drink some water, so it's been helping me, but let's take an up close and personal look at all three of these new purchases and why we why we bought them to begin with. We really like these coins. So taking a look at these three coins, starting off with the Barber first, 63 plus 1916. Not a better date, but the luster is phenomenal. A few distracting spots on both sides of the coin, but uh, yeah, like I said, just a nice looking coin. Really want that luster to stand out for barbers to be able to sell them. I have a lot of lackluster barbers that I've run into in my past and they took forever to sell. You gotta buy ones that look really nice. So 1909 Lincoln, scuffed up holder. We're gonna have to show this in better photos on our website, but it does, does have some nice color on both sides. MS65 brown CAC. This light's not doing it justice. And we have this 1927 Philly SOQ. Has color on both sides. Pretty tough and full head CEC approved and an OGH holder, so. Thought it was a little bit of a tougher find, so I wanted to try all these three coins out and put them on our website at kushacollectibles.com. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. It's not available. Hey, Miss Terry, this is Casey Haddock with the Kusha Collectibles. My dad, Stephen Haddock, spoke with you this weekend about some coins that your mom had collected over a period of time and possibly looking at them and sorting them. Um, we're pretty available the rest of the week. I know that you, my dad mentioned that you have a house down in Galveston that you sometimes are down at. I guess whenever you're available, we'll be available all this week and next week if you would uh, feel comfortable 
sitting down and possibly sorting that collection and seeing what you have. So we're sitting in traffic, but Casey just gave someone a call. Uh, my dad this weekend went to a garage sale and I guess they have a bunch of tins full of coins that their mother set aside while she was working. And so we might be looking through those coins, not too sure. And I actually just got off the phone with a collector who owns and buys SLQs and he looks for coins with eye appeal, something that makes them distinct from other SLQs. And so we just showed you guys in the last clip uh, new purchases that we had and this is the same coin right here but the coins don't last because we try to buy coins that are you know something that's unique but also something that's affordable so um, yeah just a really great conversation with a collector and uh, if anything happens with the tins we'll make sure to update you guys all right so the day's wrapping up guys just got home uh, we're prepping for a bullion deal tomorrow that we're taking to a few local customers if you guys ever need bullion and you're local to Houston, 832-538-4122. We'll get it to you. We'll make sure that your stack is to the top of the brim, but I am going to admit a shortcoming that I did, okay? So we ended up going to the TNA show. I, we sold a coin on our website and we didn't take it off of eBay. And someone purchased the coin on eBay while we were at the show. And I was like, oh, we don't have that coin. I looked through all our, our inventory. I, I searched for the coin, couldn't find it. And so, uh, you know, the customer is upset, looking for the coin, wanting to ship it. And this is what I wrote him. I said, uh, hey, Donald, this is Drew with Kucha Collectibles. I spent most of the weekend looking for your coin and realized we sold it and forgot to remove it from eBay. I am fully responsible for this mistake and will be sending you $25, uh, a $25 check in the mail for you to use on future coin purchases on other coins from us or other dealers. No customer should have experienced this, but my goal is to do everything to make it right. We hope you understand. I will refund your money right now. God bless Drew with Kush Collectibles. So I make mistakes. We make mistakes and we have to own up to our mistakes. We make good choices. We make bad choices. Everything's a choice. And so <clears throat> Our rule typically is that if someone allocated time, energy, and their money to a coin that we already sold, why should we just give their money back? Sometimes I'm like, you know what? And it's almost like a permanent rule now. If, if someone spends money on our website and it's not in stock and we say it's in stock, or if it's on eBay and we say it's in stock and it's not in stock, we normally give them money. So we gave a customer 25 bucks. In this instance, they bought a $90 coin I don't care if they use it with us or somebody else, but I want to know that we did the right thing. We didn't do all this to uh, throw our name in the mud. We do it, we did our best to make our name uh, right and set the record straight that we just wanted to, wanted to make the situation as perfect as possible even though we screwed it up. So now getting out of the way, let's show you guys a few rounds that we got in. So we bought some rounds at the TNA show, got a good price for them. And these are actually pretty cool. They're from the Mason Mint. If you want to like try to focus on that. So you have an Indian on the front, which I think the Indian is just a super cool design. Can't wait to show the customers this. And then on the back, you got the Buffalo. So we're taking about 680 rounds to some customers soon. And we wanted to show you guys these before we sent them out. Um, it's always a good day when you can work on a bullion deal with happy customers that want to uh, spend some money with you and pay for a service. What we do isn't free. Uh, we just want to give them the best customer service as possible, test the rounds for them, buy the best rounds, buy some cool rounds, the design here, and they're not paying too much for a premium. And so thank you guys for watching this video. This is just one day of being a coin dealer. A few things that we've experienced just today Nothing is, uh, you know, it's not today and tomorrow. This is all in one day. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on things that we experienced today. Um, did you find it interesting, this type of video style? We can make more of these in the future. Subscribe if you're new. We're making more videos next week. So make sure to stick around. We'll see you next time.